Are you in need of a reliable video editor for your YouTube channel? Or whatever you're doing? No, no, that's bad. Are you in need of a video editor that is reliable and that works and that is very affordable? And by affordable, I mean completely free. If you're looking for this editor, then I have no other answer other than VSDC. So today guys, I'm going to show you how to use VSDC video editor. Now I've been using this editor for a very long time. I want to say close to a year and it's, it's fun to edit with and it's very easy for beginners and even people who've used it for a while and are familiar with video editors. So I'm going to take a sample video and I'm going to go through it and show you guys all the cool features that come with VSDC. Um, link for download will be in the description. So let's get started. All right, let's get started. So once you download the program and open it, it's going to look a little like this, actually a little different because I changed the colors. You can change it to your likings however you want, but this is what, um, mine looks, you know, it's customizable, fit whatever fits you. Um, so you're going to go up here to the top left, open project or new project. We're going to create a new project, call it you ever, whatever you want, you know, test or something. Uh, you got the HD 1920 and 1080. Uh, 60 FPS, 48, uh, 100 Hertz. So everything looks good. We're gonna click finish. Let's okay. So we, so we've opened a video from a file. We're gonna click finish. It's gonna be right here. So, here's the whole clip. You know, goofy video, like really weird, like kind of cringy. Like, what am I gonna do with this? You're probably thinking. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you what this editor can do. It's a little fun video. So I'm gonna let this play all the way through. It's I don't I don't know what I was doing, <laughs> but uh, there it is. It's a nice but big display. Right down here, this is the timeline. This little cursor here is moving it along. So this is kind of like the base of the video down here. Yeah, I I don't know, guys. I just. <laughs> Hopefully it'll look better at the end there. So there's that. So it moves back to the beginning. Uh, you can view it in 720p or 1080p. I'm just going to leave it at 720 right now. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys um, we can do. So... I want to cut out the beginning of this video. I'm going to move the timeline to where I want it. So if I start it from here, do I like this? Yes, that's a good starting point. So we're going to pause right there. Click timeline. We're going to go up here. Uh, this button right here, split into parts, splits highlighted objects in parts based on cursor position. You can uh, click this and it will separate it into two different videos. There's this one and there's this one. So I didn't want the beginning, so I'm gonna left click it, right click it, and I'm gonna move my way all the way up to delete. And it's gone and I'm gonna move this video to the beginning. So we start off like this. So I'm gonna cut out all of the other parts I don't want there's another way you can do this. You can go to cutting and splitting. Um, and you're still where you are. You are going to add a marker. Alright, you're going to keep the video playing. Once I go behind the curtain there and get myself settled. Right there. Add another marker. Apply changes. It is going to isolate um, the middle clip between the two um, uh, sections that I highlighted. This right here. And I'm going to delete that. Select it, left click it once again, right click it, and delete. Also, cool, uh, if, you know, if you want to put two videos together, you uh, right click it. Then you go to move cursor to begin or to end, in this case to end. So I can slide this video perfectly so it just kind of meshes well. So let's look at this. So, he's behind the chair. Okay, so there's, <laughs> there's a bit of a difference there, but... <laughs> 
Oh, uh, whatever, man. It's, it's a little video. You, I'm just... This is a test, guys. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty lame. Okay. Never mind that. So, once again, we're gonna go to cutting and splitting. Alright. And then, right when I go back behind there, we're gonna stop. You're gonna add marker. Alright, then I'm gonna do my dopey little run. Alright, now there's that. Add marker. Oh, this is so stupid. Alright, then we're gonna add another marker. So we're like sectioning off two sections here. Add marker. So now I want this to show. Add another marker. Now this this dope's gonna come back in. All right, go behind the chair. Oh my god, that was so bad. That was so bad. Like I'm not even hidden behind the. Can I? Okay, so you can find a frame. This button down here, it's frame by frame. Oh, it's perfect. That's actually good. So this this I mean pros use this editor. It's very good. You know, frame by frame stuff right here. So we're gonna add another marker, and there I am. Ta da. And then we're just gonna let the video run out. We're gonna apply changes. Okay. And this huge thing right here. It's gonna split into many parts. Alright. And um I think we can we can mute these videos if you want. Just go to audio volume. You can just put this. See over there on the right? All the way down. Go here. It's already in the properties window. This is the properties column. You're going to take the audio all the way down. All the way down. All the way down. And uh, I think that is it. So let's take a look. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> this is... <laughs> so, it's very obvious that I'm just doing different clips. Alright. So, if, if that music was a little too loud, so I'm actually going to turn it down a bit. Not too much. Is that a lot? Let's see. Uh, I think that should be fine. So we're just going to leave it there. Now, um, hmm. say you wanted to add... You can add a video clip as well. Watch. Um, so let's see. Right when I sit down... Let's do this frame by frame once again. When I plop down right... There. Perf perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, right, right there. So I'm going to go up here to split parts once again. Going to go to the audio. Split parts. And I actually don't want this audio at the end here, so I'm going to delete it. I'm going to move this away. It's already at the end, and I'm going to add another object. So click add object, go down to video, and I want to add an explosion. Okay, I'm going to do something cool here. I'm going to add a video um, on top of another video, and it's going to look good. See right here? Watch. It's a black background. But I don't want that. So I'm going to go here, right click the video clip, go to um, video effects there's so many cool video effects you can do look at all this stuff guys i mean this is insane for free might i add <laughs> so we're gonna go to transparency we're going to go to background remover now this is very simple right here guys we're gonna go to the right side click this little thingy here right here we're just going to um click it we're just gonna click that and we're gonna let's see what if i Play it during that. There, perfect. Background is gone. There we go. 
That's so cool to me. That's really cool. All right, so here's our explosion, guys. Adding a video on top of a video. Remove the background. Bam! And then there's this. There's this right here. We're going to do something with this. All right, let's go to, to end and move it a few frames. Right here, this is where you can move it as well. I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, so there's this. So we're going to go up here. This is pretty cool. Click this thing right next to the cutting and splittings right under it. Go down to create snapshot. It's right here on the right in the properties window. Click export. And we're going to call it the Joe Show. We're going to save it. All right, we're going to split this. We're going to split this video here in half. So we're going to click the um, split into parts. There, add object. We can add images. So I'm going to add that snapshot we just took. And now it's an image. And I can have it for you know however long I want it to be. All right, guys, and we are back. Let's add this audio. Get that Seinfeld music in here now. Let's shorten it a lot. Oh, I'm going to add another image here. Um, let's see. Let's look for it. I think it's on my desktop. Let's see. Indeed, it is. So we're gonna do, we're gonna double click this image. So now we can do whatever we want to only this image. And we're gonna go to add object. We're gonna go to add movement. Add movement. Let me do, okay. So we're at the beginning of this image. We're gonna go to add object all the way down, add movement. And then you see this little square right here. And we have this little plus thing as our cursor. We're gonna click that. We're gonna hold it so it can like move up. So, um, let's see, I want it about maybe here, Let, let's, let's see it. Let's see, that's, that's interesting. So this, this yellow dot is when, you know, if you move it closer, it speeds up. See? Yeah, so I'm actually going to move it down a bit yellow dot we're gonna look at this are we gonna let it play yeah I like that I like that so now that we have that let's add some text so we're just gonna go to add object text um, all right so right here see this cursor we're gonna take it this is a text box we're gonna left click on it and then we could just start typing a bunch of stuff see and you can edit it as well. So I'm just going to do the Joe. And we're going to go to the other side. And we're going to put show. Let's make it line up. That's good. Now we're going to. There's a lot of things to do. We're going to edit this. What do I like? What do I like? What looks good? That looks good. Clarence and BLT. BLKT. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Text color. Let's get a nice. Um. All right, so now we have this. We're going to also change the size. We can go up to 300, I believe. That's insanely huge. There. So there's this. We're going to have this slide in from uh, over here. So we're going to go to the text again. Going to go um, add object, add movement. Um, hold up right here or yeah here it is so let's move the cursor to the beginning here take this uh, I think right about here is good let's see let's take this yellow thing move it here so it arrives there quicker that's good I'm actually gonna slow it down a bit I'm gonna add more text so you go to add object text text okay now we're gonna verge off to the side a bit add another text box over here same font um, just 
So there's that. See, I want to get this to match. Let's have a nice green. That's a nice green, right? <laughs> Make it 75. Then we're, gon we're going to move this to the end here as well with the end cursor. Double click it. Add movement. Let's move this to the very beginning here. How how is that gonna be? Let me just see. Oh, that's almost perfect. Let's see. That's good enough. You know, I could mess with this for hours, but I really don't feel like doing that. This is just showing you what this amazing editor can do. Um, so I think that's all. Um, this is definitely not all the features, but I'm just showing you the basics. You can get really crazy with this. I bet you can make a full feature film with this if you wanted to. Um, so let's let's watch the whole thing through. So we split the video, um, put the other videos next to the video. We added music, um, images, an extra video, um, like a video on top of the video, um, movement text see there's the explosion create a snapshot we got the Joe show oh wait the T okay that's that's really annoying me so there's like what else do you need really and this is free let me let me just fix the text really quickly that's, that's annoying so we're gonna go back to scene zero and uh, that's that's the video guys we got the audio we got everything images um, a video clip right here that we took the background out of there are so many features and you can discover these all on your own if you actually subscribe and check out VSDC's YouTube channel they have many tutorials for all of your editing needs so I almost forgot we're going to export the project we're gonna go to the top tab export project there are other tabs here that you can mess around with um, I'm actually going to edit the profile to make sure it has the best qualities. So, see up here, it's already at highest quality. Um, everything's at highest quality. Quality, we're just going to move that up to um, 100%. Um, also, let me change the um, resolution. Go to custom. Um, 1920 by 1080. HD all right so you're gonna click apply, apply profile and you're just gonna go um, up here to export project um, continue if you have the free version and it's gonna process the video frame by frame until it's all done and then it's gonna be moved to um, the videos folder and you can just do whatever you want with it upload it to YouTube to whatever I don't know show your friends so that's basically it and you guessed it, this video was edited with VSDC Editor. So I'm going to thank you guys for watching this video. If you need an editor, look no further. VSDC is your answer. Free download, once again, still in the description. It's not going anywhere. Highly recommend it. There's so many other editors out there, but they're either expensive or they just don't work as well as VSDC does. So... That's the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out VSDC's channel. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Also in the description, description is packed today, and um, goodbye.